to go. And I know it's been a while since I've been on. I am in nursing school now, which is kicking my ass really, really bad. And I figured a little calming down that I can do would probably be to clean my bookshelves. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be pulling the books out of each shelf and then just pretty much showing you what I've got, what I've read, and you let me know if you've read any of them and if there's probably some that I have that I haven't read that I should read. Also, this video is going to be into three different parts. I'm going to do each bookshelf, which is one, which is two, and which is three over there, but I'm going to start off with two. <laughs> And so we'll do just two, and then we'll do one, and then we'll do three over there. So hopefully you will enjoy this. I wanted to do it into three parts because I think doing all three in one video is just way too much. And I kind of didn't want to do all of that. So um, I'm going to be pulling them out. Hopefully I have my little trusty chair here because... I don't need any books to die on my watch. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. So, I have these. Okay, and I don't actually know if I have them in order, but there's one, and then there's two, and then I have three, four. I don't know if I can do this. And six. So these are the Chronicles of Nick series by Sherilyn Kenyon. And I haven't read these yet. Um, believe it or not, I found these um, at a flea market. And they only cost me a dollar each. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six books for six dollars. I will take it. Um, a friend of mine did read these, and she said they were really good, and she said that I should read them. So, I'm sure that I will get to them, just not while I'm in nursing school. So, here's one set. My hair is coming apart here. The next one I have is Red Rising and Golden Sun, and I know that there's a third book in the series, and I don't have it yet. Look, it matches my lipstick. Um, and this is by Pierce Brown, and I hear really good things about it. I got these from Books A Million. They were only $7 each, and they were hardcover, so I couldn't pass those out. I love it. It just matches my lips. Okay. Going on. Next, I have Red Queen and Glass Sword from Victoria A. Yard. I don't know. Another look. Look, it's red. Matches my lips. Oh no. Got a little bit of lipstick on the book. Um, I did read Red Queen. Haven't read Glass Sword yet. I think there's another book that I don't have yet. But um, I really, really like Red Queen, and I gotta get into Glass Sword. But so yeah. Oh, also, I have not read these yet. So I think I'm missing out. Next, I have Daughter of Smoke and Bones, um, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Another one that matches my lipstick. I read Smoke and Bones, loved it. Started Blood and Starlight, haven't read Gods and Monsters. So, um, this is by Lonnie Taylor. I believe that's her name. Um, I liked the first one. Um, and I remember enjoying the second one. And then school. But anyways, uh, have you read these? I know that um, a lot of people have. And I kind of didn't want to read their reviews because then it might spoil it for me. So I'm not going to. But I will be getting to these soon. Hopefully. Okay. So, these are all from Jennifer L. Armentrout, which I have White Hot Kiss, which I haven't read and it only cost me a dollar. And I guess this is from The Dark Elements, 
I don't know if this has other books to it or whatever the case is, but yeah, I have that one. Then I have Wicked, and I believe there's a second book to this. I did read this. Look, another red one. And um, I didn't enjoy it too much. I think I gave it three out of five stars. So, I don't know. But I do want to get the second one because I already have this one. Next, I have Origin, which I believe is book four from the Lux series. Love the Lux series, which is, this is part of the Lux series, as a matter of fact. Um, Lux Beginnings, which has Obsidian and Onyx. And then uh, Lux Opposition, which has Opposition and Shadows, which I don't believe I read Shadows yet. And they're supposed to connect some way. I don't know, but I could do the half face. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So, those are the three. And this only cost me four dollars on Books a Million. Okay, I'm almost done with this run. The last two books I have is The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. I did read this. I have not read that. I saw the movie, loved it. I thought they did really good with comparing it to the books. But I did not read The Infinite Sea or the newest one that came out for it either. This one I got for seven bucks on Books a Million, and it's a paperback. It's awesome. You go to Barnes and Nobles, you'll be spending about twenty-one dollars with tax. So those are those, and that is the first row. So now I gotta put these down. This is one of my favorite rows in all of my bookshelves because this is my favorite author um, of all time. I absolutely love her and hopefully one day she can sign all of my books. So, please no one fall. I would be so upset. I just did my hair for nothing, right? I mean, it's just because I got whatever. So, clockwork prints. Blackwork Angel, Blackwork Princess, from the Infernal Device series. This is my favorite, favorite series of all time. I love this series. They're my babies. I love the way it smells and everything. It's just, it's just so greatness. This is my baby right here, Will. I love him. I love him very, very much. He's my number one book boyfriend forever. So, if you haven't read this series, I don't think we could be friends. I just, I don't think so. <laughs> Please read it. So these are my three babies. And this one is also because in the inside we get like a family map. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a family map. Although, I wanted to buy a book so that I can frame it, but... Mm. I kind of don't want to spend, you know, $23 just for the book jacket. I'm just going to take my hair out because it's kind of driving me nuts right now. All right. Um, then I have Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows, which I have read Lady Midnight. I have not read Lord of Shadows yet because um, it just recently came out. And again, nursing school is kind of kicking my ass. So I really haven't been able to read too much, and I'm so sad about it. But the first break that I get, this is the first book that I'm going to read. Because I love, love this one. Um, Jillian, right? Julian, Julian. I loved him as a character. I thought he was such a great character. His parabatai, oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I do. So these are in the next one. Can you just see that this is just like Cassandra Clare? It's just her row. It belongs to her. Belongs to you, Cassandra Clare. So next, we have um, the box set. Paperback, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, 
read them all, love them all, and I am currently watching the TV show, which, you know, Chase is hot. <laughs> um, I really like Alec. Uh, I love Isabel. Clary, her act, her actress, I still have to um, butter up to her because I don't know if she's the greatest actress for that role. Sorry. I don't know. Anyways, we have City of Lost Souls also and um, City of Heavenly Fire. And um, last book, great book, read them all. Love it, love it. Oh, Clary. Ah, Clary and Jace. <laughs> So the next one, um, this is a spin-off to the Fallen Kingdom series, um, a book of Spirit and Thieves, you can see that, by Morgan Rhodes, and then The Dark Magic, which look, it's red again. Mm. So, yeah, I have read both of them, love both of them, waiting for the next book to come out, love this author. I think she's amazing. She is great. She loves to kill her characters. It's so mean. This has easily became one of my favorite, favorite series. Um, so, we have The Fallen Kingdom. Rebel Spring. The Gathering Darkness. Frozen Tides. I gotta, I gotta hug them. And Crystal Storm. These are truly my babies. I love every single one of them. I mean, I read them like I drink water. And I love water. They were amazing. They were wonderful. They were great. Like I said, she loves to kill her characters. So mean. But it's all for good of the book. It made the book that more that much more better and all of them so yeah great books I love them so if you can clearly see then you know that the next ones are all Twilight Twilight of uh, the complete film archive one of my favorite Twilight um things because it has a bunch of stuff in it um there's cards there's, let me see, one of my favorite things in here. I will show you right now. Where are we? Is Edward and Bella's uh, wedding invitation. See, I got invited to their wedding. Sorry, you can get in, but I did. Here's the whole book set. <laughs> Including the Blu-rays. Which you guys don't need to see them so, um, here's the box set. We already know Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and I actually got an extra copy of Breaking Dawn, um, because Renesmee was in the front and the two main characters. So, I kind of like movie book adaptations. Um, I know a lot of people don't, but I do, so, whatever. It has a poster in there, which I haven't removed. Um, I need a frame. So, yeah, here's my box set, my, my babies, my babies, how I like to call it, my babies. Um, in here is something that I love very, very much, and there are my bookmarks. Do not dog ear books, um, because I will haunt you when you sleep, okay? Good? Okay. I collect bookmarks, so every time I go into a bookstore or anytime I go somewhere that has books and they have bookmarks, I buy one. And there is just a bunch of them. Shh, I'm trying to read. I have an Irish one. I have quotes. I have owls. Um, I have just little things. Um, bookmark with the little tassel at the bottom. It's one of my favorite ones. Hopefully you can read it. If not, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, there's about 40 in here. 
Um, I got some Twilight ones, and when I went to book signings, I got some, um, some there too. So this is my bookmarks. I really, really love it. And then my sister-in-law got me like a little Twilight, um, jewelry case. It was for Christmas, and it says, I already think of you as part of the family. Um, obviously Bella stuff. Those are my gifts. I have Vampire Academy Frostbite Shadow Kiss. Then we have Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. There we go. All the babies. And the, uh, only the first one is kind of like the original cover, and then the rest of them is the remake that they did when the movie came out. Sorry, first two. And then they're all kind of like that, which I think I prefer. These covers were just a little too cheesy for me. But these are all by Rochelle Mead. And um, I really, really enjoy these books. But what I really, 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 really loved was the sequel or the spinoff, which is the Bloodline series, also by Rochelle Mead. We have Bloodline, The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell. We also have um, the Fiery Heart, Silver Shadows, and the Ruby Circle. And these deal with my girl, the Alchemist, and my boy, the Vampire. Favorite, another one of my favorite fairy series of all times. Did not love the last book. This is the only book that I did not love. I think when you're coming to the end of a series, you really want that last book to be, like, if not the best out of all of them. And this just was not close to the best or what I thought was going to happen or even a little glimpse of what was going to happen. Nothing kind of really happened that I thought was going to happen. But anyways, um, another great series that I love. Just put those down. Um, the last one from Michelle, Rochelle Me that I have is the Game Board of the Gods and I haven't read this. I think there's a second book to this series, but I have not read it. Um, it was at Barnes and Nobles for like five bucks, so I couldn't really pass that up. And also, I heard some really good things about this book, anyways. So hopefully, I'll get to it again when I'm done with nursing school. So the next books I have is The Raven Boys, Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue. You can see one of them has a tassel on it because I um rereading The Raven Boys so I can go on with the series. I did read The Raven Boys, loved The Raven Boys. Um, and here's the cover and here's the other cover. Haven't read them, but it does deal with, you know, she, um, from what I gathered, who she's going to kiss probably die and ghosts and you know finding points around the world for certain portals and stuff like that so um I heard great things about these books and I Maggie Seifutter sorry I butcher your name but yeah that's her <laughs> um Coming to the end, coming to the end of the first. So I have The Unbecoming of Myra Dyer, The Evolution of Myra Dyer, and The Retribution of Myra Dyer by Michelle Hotkin. I did read The Unbecoming of Myra Dyer and The Evolution of Myra Dyer, and then it took forever for this third book to come out. So now I gotta reread these other two in order to read this one. But everyone was saying how awesome and spectacular and how great and how wonderful and how just, ugh great great this book is okay they were good but they were not in my top favorites I wish that it the the ones that I read were but I really have to reread it again it's like on the borderline of paranormal like there's there's that paranormal aspect to it but still there wasn't enough I don't know I, I gotta reread it again but these are the three that were also on the shelf that I still need to read the last one. If you can see this tower. I'm 
the last one that I have on this bookshelf is of Poseidon, of Neptune, of Triton, and these are all have to do with mermaids. This is the first mermaid book that I've ever read, first mermaid books that I've ever owned, and I really, really like them. I mean, they, they were great. That cover is beautiful. This cover is gorgeous. Um, if you are going to read a mermaid book, because I know that there's people that try to try to look for different things and try to see what kind of books that they can read that are different, and you don't really buy, I guess, that many mermaid books or any that's probably any good, but this is really, really good, and I really enjoyed it, and I hope that whoever reads it enjoy it too, so if you have, let me think about it. I think I actually did um a video on the first book, or maybe the first two. I don't remember. But anyway, they were really good. So that is my first shelf. Um, I do have the last one all the way down in the bottom. All the way down in the bottom because there's five rows. But that's all my nursing books. Literally, there's about 15 of my nursing books. And I'm not going to really show everyone that because they're just nursing books. But this video is almost 30 minutes already, which is why I only wanted to do one bookshelf at a time. Um, this room has great lighting, so I'm sorry if my face is just a little weird. Um, but, yeah. Which one's your favorite out of all the books that I just pulled out? And, um, what do you think about it? So mine, obviously, is Twilight, the Bloodline series, um, the Fallen Kingdom series, and definitely all of Cassandra Clare's. So, oh, which one did you like? Um, which one should I read? And next time I will be coming out with the second part of this video. So thank you for watching and have a beautiful and wonderful day.